more slow than the other lights that track the sky when the dark come up. It was big too and broody and there was a strangeness to it like it didn't belong in the sky. It was put there by them as who come before and it carried all their thoughts. Their dreams were stored up there. If only we could listen hard enough and tell the secret for how to get back there. That's what Isa said anyway. She said the watcher would yield up the key for receipt and the gig cities and all the back roads crowd could rise up from the muck and live in that place where the glittery buildings grew tall and tangled together like vines.
next thing I knew it was dawn and I was soaked in sweat. The fever in me had no idea whether it was a dream or otherwise. I'd not seen their bones before nor the sign of the letter I. And I puzzled on it as I moved me aching body onwards under the cover of low clouds sweeping across from the north. It stood for the eye, like that eye that stared out from my eye. But it wasn't I nor I. It was an eye reflected in an eye. The dead bone of the creature, the follower up, the crow. It was also the eye for eyesight, and that's the sign I took it for as I moved through the day. Growing up through the tangled creeping greenery, clawing at red brick. 
lizards and slithering creatures scrubbled out of the way as we crawled through. Either side, the buildings loomed, thicker and taller. Ahead, a steel canyon wall, above a river of glittering glass shards beneath. Thanks very much. That's all we got.